Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with part nine of the Tome series. So this is the series where we work through all of the achievements in this game and get a bunch of Microsoft Rewards points along the way. If you haven't watched parts one through eight, those will be linked in the description so you can get caught up and grab all the achievements that we previously grabbed. But we will be getting the next three achievements today as always, this will count towards the five point daily quest for earning an achievement in a Game Pass game. If you haven't already collected that today and we'll be doing it over three separate days, so we'll be able to get it three separate times. And as always, if you have not finished your monthly quests or weekly quests, then this achievement will help you in working towards those and get you one step closer to finishing up those monthlies and weeklies. So let's go ahead and get started in Tome. And as always, we're gonna take a quick look on the achievement tracker here. You should be at 24 out of 48 achievements so far, halfway finished. And the last achievement that we got in part eight was Snowy Peaks for visiting Kiraberg. So we haven't really done too much in Kiraberg yet, so we're going to get started there now and we're going to get some of the initial tasks finished. First thing you want to do is head up the ramp here and talk to the guy at the information desk so that we can get our stamp card and start collecting stamps in this area. We only need six to get to the next area, but we'll be working through first few of those in this part. We're going to move up into the next section to the right and we are going to actually go ahead and take a left here and then we're going to move up to the sign and press a to interact with that and then we're going to sit down on the bench right here and we're going to say yes to listen to the goat choir and then we can just press a to hop up and leave because the goats are not here yet so that is going to initiate a task for us and we need to get the goats so we're going to move around the area and collect those over the next couple of parts let's move across the ice and we'll talk to the old man here and he's going to give us some climbing boots in this area we're going to be collecting and going ahead and equipping most of the clothing items that we get so as soon as we get the climbing boots here i'm going to go ahead and equip those We're definitely going to need the climbing boots to get around in this area, so make sure that you do equip those. And anytime you see those little ropes, those are the areas that you can climb. And we're actually going to go do that now. So let's go ahead and climb up this first set of ropes here, and we'll get up to the top. So now let's take a picture of the snowball that's up here. We're going to head back down the ropes and we're going to take a picture of the snowman that's in this area. So just move over to him, press Y, and we'll take a picture of the snowman here. And then we're also going to be taking some pictures of some pictographs that are on the walls in this area. So this is the first one that we'll get a picture of today and we'll be getting a few more over the next couple of achievements. We'll just kind of pick them up as we find them in Kiraberg. Let's go back and talk to the man and show him the photo of the big snowball that we took just a moment ago. And that's going to complete task number one for Kiraberg for us. You can see that there are 13 tasks in this area. We only need six to move on to the next area, but there are 13 total. Go ahead and equip the puffer hat that he gives you. We're going to be wearing a lot of winter gear for an achievement that's in this area. But for today, we're going to go inside and take a picture of this fellow, and that is going to be our day one achievement. This achievement is called Happy Youth. That is our easy day one achievement. And as always, I'm just going to press the view button and I'm gonna choose save and return to title screen. And then we'll pick up here for day two. So for day two, we are going to get some more photos in the Kiraberg area. We're going to start by heading right outside and we're gonna head over to the far right here. 
and we're going to talk to a balloon that's here, the one that's on the right side, and get a task from him. And then there are some mountain goats that are missing from the choir in this area, so we need to go find all the mountain goats. The first one is right here, and we need to take a picture of a mountain goat too. So if you can, quickly take a picture of this goat before that little loading bar fills up. If you missed it and the loading bar filled up before you were able to take a photo, that's okay. There are a couple more chances coming up, but you will need at some point a picture of a mountain goat. And then after that, make sure that the goat hops down off of the mountain and you'll be finished with that task or that, that specific objective anyway. Take a picture of the hedgehog at the top of this little area. And then we're gonna go inside and take a couple of cat pictures, a couple of pet pictures in here. First one is the cat that's rolling around on the lower bed, named Nariko. And then the second one is Mickey or Mickey that's up on the table up here. Let's so make sure you get that pet photo. We're close to getting the achievement that's associated with the pets. We're gonna head outside, up the ramp, and over to the right. And then we're going to go behind this Yeti section here and this little cutout. We'll take a selfie here. So press Y to flip your camera around and get a picture of yourself as a Yeti. And that's going to complete task number two for Kierberg. So we'll go ahead and stamp our card here. And then we need to take a picture of this snowbird. He can be really quick. He was moving slowly for me, but you may have to work a little bit to get a good picture of this guy. He kind of runs around really quickly sometimes. So just be patient and get a picture of the snowbird there. We're going to go inside this house and we're going to talk to the lady that's sitting on the couch. She's got a nice big scarf and we need that for our achievement. So go ahead and equip that. We're going to go back outside. And there's a ski lift in this area that we can get onto now, so hop onto the ski lift. And then up at the top here, there is a guy that's going to give us some ski goggles. So we're going to talk to him, get those goggles, make sure you equip them. And once you do, if you're wearing all of this winter gear, then you should get the all geared up achievement here. And that is our easy day two achievement making some good progress on Kiraberg, and we'll make some more on day three. So let's go ahead and save and return to the title screen. And then for our day three achievement, we are going to continue on in Kiraberg and get some more progress and grab one more achievement that's available in this area for taking pictures of the pets. First thing we'll take a picture of is the Tato Ski that is skiing outside of this little door here. So grab a picture of that guy. And then we're going to take a picture of the second mountain goat. If you didn't get him in the first area, then this is a good opportunity to get a picture of the mountain goat. Just make sure you scan him with your camera and he will hop down like the first goat did. We're going to go left out of this area and we'll take a picture of the fluff balls that are in this area. So just zoom in on one and get a fluff ball picture. You may remember we took a picture before of the pictograph. There's another pictograph here, that's number two. So make sure you get that one. And then we're gonna circle back around these hillsides here and get the gift that's in this area. There's a space helmet and we want to, yes, equip that. We're gonna need that in just a minute. Let's climb up the rope and we'll take a left and go into the observatory here. We can move over and talk to the astronomer lady here. And after that dialogue, let's turn around and take a picture of the Tato alien that's floating back here in the little spaceship. We're actually gonna get two pictures of him, but I'll show you the second one in just a second. For now, let's move up and look out of the telescope up here. And we need to focus on the meteor that's up here. 
And as soon as the progress bar fills up there, then the meteor will crash into Kiraberg. And that's what we want to have happen. We need that for one of our tasks coming up here. So for this picture, we're going to do a selfie. And you want to make sure that you have yourself and the Tato alien and the little planet that's back in the background. You want to have all those in the same picture. And we'll save that one. And that's going to complete task number three for us. Makes us look like an astronaut, I guess. Playing astronaut. All right, so now we can head outside the observatory. And then we're going to head down the first rope and take a left out of this area. There's an owl we can take a picture of here, so let's do that. He's on top of this little X crossroad sign here. And then the third mountain goat is also in this area. So I just moved over and got kind of close to the exit here and then zoomed in on the third mountain goat over there on that peak. Next, we're going to move over and talk to the guide in this area and get the task from her for the different photo challenges. And now we're going to head down the rope that's right beside her area. And the third pictograph is right here. So make sure you grab a picture of the pictograph on the wall. So once you've got that, we're going to head down the little rope that's right in this area. And then we're going to head out into the next section. And then we'll head down the rope in this section too. There's a snowman at the base of this rope, so take out your camera by him, and we're going to honk at him. That'll break this guy out that's on the inside. There's also a pictograph right here, so spin your camera around and take a picture of the fourth pictograph. That's the last one we're going to take a picture of today. There are also some little floating asteroid guys right by this asteroid over here. So make sure you get a picture of them. They're called Mediopals. And then we need to take a picture of the crashed asteroid itself. This is the one we caused to crash earlier when we were at the observatory. All right, we're gonna head inside this building and get our day three achievement inside of here for taking the picture of the final pet. So this should be the last pet for you if you have been taking all the same pet pictures that I have. So there's Teddy, and we're going to get the Look at Those Cuties achievement for taking a picture of all the development team's animals. So that is our Easy Day 3 achievement, and that is going to be the last one for Part 9 of the Tome series. So make sure you save and head back to the main menu. So that's going to be it for Part 9. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with Part 10. I'll have a new Achievement of the Week guide coming out next week, and I'll have more easy achievement guides for channel members here on the channel coming out over the next few days. If you're interested in becoming a channel member to help support the Rewards Hunter channel and you haven't already clicked on the Join button, please feel free to do that here. And don't forget that there is a fictional Game Pass quest guide that I released just a few days ago. So we have a fictional Game Pass quest that's going on for the month of April. If you're interested in checking that out and getting entered into the giveaway, we're giving away four codes for Assassin's Creed Mirage, then please feel free to click on that video here, check that out, and finish up that quest and get yourself entered in for a chance to win one of those game codes. So that's going to do it for today for part nine of the Tome series. So I will look forward to seeing you all in those future guides. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit the bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description if you want to stay connected. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.